important test question on sigma notation. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have taken a very important question based on sigma notation. We will try to understand the notation itself. How do we write the terms using this notation? And also, how do we find the sum of series? The question here is, we need to find the sum of 1 plus 3 to the power of k divided by 5 to the power of k, where k goes from 0 to infinity. Part A of the question is, write first five terms of the sum, and B is, separate the sums into two series, then evaluate the sum of these series, right? That is the general way of actually solving such questions, correct? So, so we can write the first five terms of this series, k will be from 0 to 4 in that case, right? So, let us do part A first. We could expand this and if k is 0, then we get what? 1 plus 3 to the power of 0 over 5 to the power of 0 plus 1 plus 3 to the power of 1 over 5 to the power of 1 and so on. We will write the first 5 th terms. Now, normally we do not write 3 to the power of 1 and 5 to the power of 1, but here I am just mentioning it just to make it more clear. It's not wrong, but it's not good to write. You get the idea, right? So that is how we have written. But it's a good idea to simplify these terms, right? And then write down. So we get this as 1 plus anything to the power of 0 is 1. So we get 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus 3 over 5 plus 1 plus 9 over 25 plus 1 plus 27 over 125 plus 1 plus 81 over multiplying 125 by 5 is 625. 25 square, that is, right? And finally, we can write the terms in simplified form. So, 1 plus 1 over 1 is 2, plus 4 over 5, plus 10 over 5, plus 28 over 25, plus 82 over 625. So, these are our first five terms, you see that, correct? Some of you could simplify this, but I will leave it like this here itself. So, we have done the first part, which is how do we write the first five terms of this particular sum, but we are not adding it up. Now, in second part, we will actually split this series into two, as you can see. We could write this as 1 over 5 to the power of k and 3k over 5 to the power of k, correct? And then it will be easier for us to find the sum of the series. Good. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Many of my students are there on top of their class getting awards and scholarships like Akshit after attending university. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. 
join our classes and excel so let's continue and uh, do part b now So again, we'll work with this series, split it into two parts, and that is the way how we should be doing to find the sum of the infinite series. So as you can see, we could write this as sum of the series where k equals to 0 to infinity, 1 over 5 to the power of k plus the other series, which is k equals to 0 to infinity, 3 over 5, both to the power of k, correct? So, we could write like this. So, so we have sum of two series and both are infinite series and therefore, it is easier to find their sum. So, in the first one, we have a geometric series where a is 1 over 5 and is being multiplied by 1 over 5 each time. And here, we are multiplying by 3 by 5, where a is this, right? So, I hope you remember the sum of geometric series. When it is for infinite number of terms, it is equals to a over 1 minus r. If the absolute value of r is less than 1, correct? So, in our case, 1 over 5 is less than 1, 3 over 5 is also less than 1, right? So, from here, it is very clear that we have two different series, first term A being 1 in both and the multiplication factor is 1 over 5, correct? And therefore, we can write down the sum of the series as equal to 1 over 1 minus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 1 minus 3 over 5, correct? So, that gives you what? That gives you 1 over 5 minus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 minus 3 over 5, correct? Or is equal to taking 5 on the top, we have 5 minus 1 is 4 plus 5 over 5 minus 3 as 2, which gives us 4 as a common denominator, 5 plus 10 or 15 by 4. You see that. So, that is how we can find the sum of these, this particular summation. So, the strategy here is to split it into two parts, identify the two geometric series, apply the formula known for sum of infinite elements in the geometric series and simplifying the result. So, I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.